politics starts now. In a historic convention upset, Nika Beckwith is the Republican nominee for lieutenant governor. Delegates made their choice today at the state party convention here in Indy. News 8's government reporter Garrett Bergquist shows us how the vote unfolded. Convention delegates historically have deferred to the winner of their party's primary for governor on who to pick for lieutenant governor. That did not happen this time. Mike Braun announced last month he wanted delegates to pick Julie McGuire. He says he wanted someone with legislative experience. Let there be no doubt that the Braun McGuire team will fight for you and your family and always protect our way of life. Mike and I need your help and your vote to make Indiana a beacon of freedom and opportunity. But Beckwith launched his own insurgent campaign for lieutenant governor a year ago. He became prominent during the COVID-19 pandemic for his protests against lockdowns and vaccine and mask mandates. This is not a ratification vote. This is a vote on the direction of Indiana. That meant convention delegates had to decide the running mate, which is unusual. Former President Donald Trump endorsed McGuire late Thursday. It wasn't enough. Beckwith got 891 votes to McGuire's 828. I am humbled, I'm, I'm overwhelmed, and I am encouraged that Indiana knows that the power of the government rests with the people. Beckwith has previously told News 8 he plans to take a more active role in the legislative process than lieutenant governors historically have. The lieutenant governor presides over the state senate, but can only vote to break a tie. Braun struck a cordial tone. He says he and Beckwith largely have the same goals. But he says he still wants Beckwith to fall into line. Most Hoosiers are going to be interested in real results. I feel good about that. This ain't going to make any difference. I'm going to be the chief executive. I'm going to have a legislature that if I communicate with them, get along with them, that's going to happen. Uh, and Micah is going to have some particular responsibilities along the way. And to me, this is no different than when you have a little bump in the road and you make the best out of it. And that's what I intend to do. Democrats still have to hold their convention. That is scheduled for July 13th here in Indianapolis at the Indiana Convention Center. I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV. WishTV.com or follow us on Facebook for updates. State Democrats are also commenting on Micah Beckwith's nomination tonight. They released a statement saying, Today, Indiana Republicans showed their stark divisions, not only within their party, but with their visions for the future of our state. Gubernatorial candidates selected by the people should be allowed to select their potential governing partners. And Micah Beckwith's win shows how out of the mainstream extremism has hijacked the current Indiana GOP. Beckwith will bring the worst of the culture wars to the lieutenant governor's office. He is dangerous for business, dangerous for women, dangerous for families, and dangerous for Indiana's future. And remember, you can catch all Indiana politics tomorrow morning at 9.30 right here on WISH TV.